This painting, titled Modeling the Golden Ratio, is one of the eight pieces in the Silent Empowerment series. Unlike the other pieces, this is the only one with a solo male image. The idea behind this painting stems from a philosophical question. How can something be created out of nothing? But what does nothing really mean? Does nothingness really exist? If so, what are the properties of nothingness? Naturally, just like other humans, I tend to think that the earth is the center of it all. I thought maybe I would paint a blue, beautiful, yet lonely planet, but I was thinking of a vacuum of an empty space where light is able to propagate itself without the help of any kind of medium. So I painted a sphere in the middle of the canvas. But instead of a box, I created a circular vacuum. I imagined the entire universe being built nearly 14 billion years ago out of nothing. We are merely a speck of dust in a silent space which we call our universe. I thought that maybe I would let the person who buys this painting to put that speck of dust on this canvas. Math is not my strongest suit, but geometry is. I can see and solve shapes, sizes, relative positions of figures, and the properties of space more than I could do with plain numbers. And so I allow myself to dive into the weirdness of quantum physics. My sphere turns into my imagined vacuum of gob, of light beams abstracted into live fluctuations of unknown stuff. How clever are those few human beings such as the theoretical physicists Albert Einstein and Paul Dirac to have brains of geniuses and figure out quantum mechanics and totally transform our world. I never dreamt of becoming an artist. So when in 2014, when I suddenly found myself drawing and painting pieces that were deemed worthy of being sold in art galleries, I was absolutely stunned. Although my work was already being commercially sold, my insecurities as to whether I had the true talent of a fine artist was still profound. I felt that I had to learn my relationship to the art of the past masters. I desperately wanted to trace the history produced in the classical style dating back to the ancient Greeks. So I began to seek the expertise of someone who could teach me um, the principles of classical art in a traditional atelier setting. In 2017, I enrolled myself and took private lessons from an art scholar, William Sweek, owner of Sweek Academy in Honolulu, Hawaii. It was then I decided to paint something similar to a Renaissance painting. I am inspired by the works of Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Gustav Klimt, and other great classical and symbolist artists. I'm thinking of a friend holding an orb. It is believed that a severed orb symbolizes godly power. Is man capable of using this power to take something out of nothing and mold it into what reflects a divine design? Or is everything already been designed by a highest intelligence source and we human beings are simply just messengers and protectors of such grand design? The golden ratio or the golden proportion is responsible for the order of the grand design that is found in almost everything in nature. This ratio comes from a summation sequence known as the Fibonacci sequence, which is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, and so on and so forth. 
In the golden ratio rectangle, the length is in proportion with the width by the ratio of 1.618 to 1. According to psychological test, we respond to the things that mimic designs based on nature. The logarithmic spiral can be seen in our galaxy, in nautilus shells, in the number of branches and leaves of trees, in flowers, in our bodies, and so on. Greek mathematicians considered the golden ratio to be responsible for the beauty within all visual designs and audible sounds. How fascinating and serendipitous it is that the person who now owns the original of this painting is someone close to my heart and is of Greek descent. I wanted to feel the sacredness of the golden spiral and so I painted it, hoping that each and every day I learn from nature and from the past and will lead me to a more understanding of art and of life itself. Perhaps there is no such thing as nothingness at all and we can all create something beautiful out of everything that is already made for us and here for our taking.